Hello everyone, this is Denise Watts with a card video tutorial for the Heffy Doodle channel. In today's video, I would like to share with you my creative process behind this Hooray card, which I put together using a bunch of products from Heffy Doodle, old and new. And I'm going to start off by showing you the stamp sets I chose for this project. The first one of them is those birdie stamp set and it's called Wingman stamp set. It's been one of the most popular ones in the latest release. Then we've got Elephant of Surprise, Adorable Lions, and Happy Snappy Crocs. And I'm going to be using a big bold word stamp set later on, but for the moment let's just get started with these four ones. So the first thing I did was I pulled my Misty stamping tool out, lay all my stamps out on top of my piece of paper facing down as if I was stamping them, and then I picked them up with the lid of my Misty and repositioned my cardstock in place inside my Misty. Now I left this little bit of footage in to show you how it is that I like to prep my stamp sets whenever they're new and haven't been used before. Um, and this allows me to get sharper, um, clearer, bolder images once stamped. Now it's normal that stamps come from factories with a little bit of residue left over. And if you just rub your fingers over it a little bit and stamp a couple of times with them, you should be able to get absolutely perfect results. So I've stamped my images with some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because I was going to be doing some Copic colouring. And I've actually spared you the colouring process on this video because what I did was I just grabbed my stamped images and my Copic markers and I did some colouring on the go over at my in-laws and here and there and everywhere. And then I came back to my desk with all my coloured images and I used my matching dies and my Heffy Memo Tape, which I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, to die cut my images. Now this little Heffy Memo Tape is a very low tack tape that allows you to position your dies on, onto your cardstock without um, tearing up your paper when you pull it off. And you'll see here that this little piece of tape was sticky enough for me to use it four times um, to run four different images through my die cut machine, um, yet it was low tech enough that none of my images were damaged when I pulled the tape off my little die cuts. So there's my little croc, he's cute. Then I ran my little elephant of surprise through my die cutting machine, oh sorry, I did the lion first then the elephants, and last but not least, that stunning um, little parrot there, green and red. And I thought his, his feathers were such lovely bright colours that they inspired me to create the background for my card. Um, for my background, I'm going to be using this leaf um, stencil, which is also from our latest release. And I'm going to position it over my four and a quarter by five and a half cardstock panel and again I'm going to use my little heffy doodle memo tape to hold it in place. Now the great thing about this little tape is that it's very light, I don't like clunky tools in my room and especially if I'm moving them around and shifting them on my desk and you can easily buy just the refills for it. So if you ever run out of it you don't have to reinvest in the little dispenser, you can just pick up um, a little refill and you're ready to go. And it's now being sold at the Heffy Doodle store along with a bunch of other basic supplies. So if you want to place your order there, you know you can pick up other things while you're there too. Now I've pulled out some Lawn Fawn inks and my little brush ink blenders. Um, I like to use the brushes because I am just terrible with the, um, with the little round tools. I don't know what it is about it. I, I get really sharp um, edges on my blending and so I've just given up on those and just stick with my brushes. So I did some ink blending in green and then you're going to see me shift my little stencil round and do some ink blending in red as well. Oh, isn't it magical when you remove the stencil? You can see what you've just been working so hard on. So I'm twisting my little stencil round here, trying to find the best positioning for it. And once I was happy, I taped it down again and moved on to my red ink. Here we go, a little bit here, a little bit there, 
and off we go with some more ink blending. Left, right, left, right, and through the magic of video editing, <laughs> 10 minutes of ink blending turn into 10 seconds. And voila! Here is my lovely ink blended panel with red and green leaves. I just love peeling off the stencils and seeing, the, revealing the, uh, the end result. So here we go. This is my final um, front card panel. Now off camera, I actually run, run that through my die cutting machine again using some um, stitched rectangle um, dies just to give it a little bit of additional detail on the edges. Now once I was done with that, um, also off camera, I cut out a couple of black strips of cardstock using my... Oh, what are these called? There are little strip dies. Um, strips of ease! There we go! <laughs> my little heavy doodle strips of ease, which allows you to... This die set allows you to cut little um, stitched stripes, um, which are perfect for your sentiments. And I pulled out my Big Bold Words stamp set, also by Hiffy Doodle. Um, treated my cardstock with that anti-static powder tool that you saw me use a second ago. And it's basically like baby powder and it just removes all static electricity from the paper. I used my Versamark ink and I pressed down firmly onto my paper for my little sentiment hooray to be stamped onto that black cardstock with this sticky ink. Once I was done with that, I fished through my drawer of um, embossing powders until I found a tone of gold that I was happy with and that I thought matched my little lion's mane best. And I put a piece of white paper, just copy paper, underneath my um, strip of ease, stitch strip of ease. I poured my embossing powder over it, tapped away the excess, and this whole time, I have to say, I have my heat my heat tool running in the background, so you want to make sure it's really hot by the time you bring it to your paper, and this is going to help you avoid as much warping as possible. I always make sure I close my little embossing powder pot before I do anything else. Um, don't ask me why. I may or may not have had embossing powder all over my crafting table in the past. I heat emboss my sentiment, and look at how gorgeous that gold embossing is. Yay! So once I was done with that, again off camera, just to save you guys a little bit of time, I adhered my front card panel, the one I stenciled onto, onto a black card base. And then on top of that, I glued a little, um, a smaller rectangle of uh, vellum, and on top of that vellum, my hooray um, sentiment strip. I put some double-sided um, foam tape on the back of my images and I placed them on top of that little sentiment carefully. I like the way it helped to ground my little scene. And for my little birdie I used a mini action wobbler just for some additional detail and fun. There you go, it's a little spring, you peel off the sticky backing on both ends, you stick one side to your little critter, and the other side onto your card. And voila! If I can get that off, <laughs> there we go. Now the more I tried it, um, the more it kept on getting stuck behind the little elephant, so um, after I switched up my camera I ended up ripping it off um, from my card front and just positioning it a little bit higher so that my recipient could just play with it um, without it getting stuck. Um, there you go. So this card was actually from my friend Esther who just got a new job and I really think she liked it. Um, she's, she follows me on YouTube and I promised her the video would be up soon. So Esther, here we go. Hooray for you and for your new job. Now leave me a comment down below and let me know what occasion you would use a card like this for. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end and I look forward to seeing you in our next video tutorial using lots of products and inspiration from the Heffy Doodle. Until next time!